These are the slogans, shouts and cries of hundreds of protesters in Niger demanding the exit of French forces from their country. This isn't a one-off but part of a wave of anti-French sentiment across the Sahelian countries calling for the former colonial adversary to leave. So what is going on? Operation Barkhane is a counter-terrorist operation conducted by France consisting of 3,000 soldiers headquartered in Jamena, Chad. But also present in Niger, Mauritania and Burkina Faso, the operation commenced in 2014. Yet eight years on, insurgent groups are still active, spreading terror across the Sahel, leaving behind a large civilian death toll as well as French military losses. More importantly, France's position in the region has come under increased scrutiny. Operation Barkan was also based in Mali where many armed groups are active but Bamako has expelled all French forces from its land. This comes off the back of accusations made by Bamako about France violating its sovereignty and aiding terrorist groups. Anti-French rhetoric both from government and people has increased. In November 2021, a Barkan military convoy was blocked and stoned in Burkina Faso and then Niger. Protests in the region calling for the French to leave have become recurrent, amid growing hostility toward French boots on the ground. Paris, though, cannot afford more problems in countries like Niger, especially with Mali out of the Barkhane equation. Paris' interests do not end only in the realm of counterinsurgency operations or RANA. The French state-owned energy company gets most of its uranium from Niger. French company Total Energies has oil field in Mali. And the Barkhane contingent in Chad actually attacked soldiers opposed to former Chadian president Idriss Deby, a staunch French ally. As such, France's actions fall outside of the aims of collective security. And many see Paris's presence as a pursuit of its own economic, political and military interest in the region. President Macron often falls back on the fact that his nation's troops are there by invitation. The legal support of government is his get-out-of-jail card when issues such as French casualty or neo-colonial critique are pointed out to him. But as anti-French sentiment grows, protests continue and security remains volatile. All signs that Mali won't be the last to say au revoir to France's self-serving military operations.